and one thing more that you see here that you never see in any other world, not even in Istanbul. Okay, let's walk over to Poland and see how easy that is. I don't know. Dear passengers, wearing an FFP2 mask is mandatory. I've never seen so much water in Berlin before. But no, if you re re after this corner, wait, 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 after this, after this, we can go. Now we can go. Oh my God. My boots are... Uh oh! <laughs> You're not made of sugar too much. A great day for a beer. So to three in the shadow. And I am in Berlin. And now you have seen the Temple Hall. Big eloge to Berlin. This is what many, many cities should do. Like have a light latrine or a pissoir, what you call it. In a big city, you don't need to go pay one euro, one dollar for a toilet visit. You want just to take a leak. Okay, this is for man only, but. And when it's open like this, people cannot sleep over here, you know, because they cannot do that. It's open. It's open. It's perfect. A to open toilet. You can fill up your water here if you're thirsty. So superb. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. A big, big lesson, differently to Stockholm, Sweden, where I come from. Now we go somewhere. Yeah, we go to Berlin city. Very close. Oh, that's awesome. Very expensive food here in this restaurant. I eat a Wiener Schnitzel. Cost two beer and one food. 28 euro. Very, very expensive. Thai market in Berlin. You know, if a Thai lady goes somewhere in the world, <laughs> she must look up Thai food, Thai aham, Thai drinks, everything must be Thai. <laughs> Oh, not, oh, not Berlin. I come later, come later, slowly. You look, people start come, you look. Cha cha cha. Really worth a visit to come here. They say they are open Friday, Saturday, Sunday, but on Friday, not so many. Vendors, it's more vendors and people on Saturday. So if you go here, go Saturday. I don't think they sell beer here. Yeah, beer later. Later? Mm. Not now. Hello. Hello. Cannot sell now? I sell now, or you can add. Mm. Many, many people. But no alcohol for sale this year because of Corona. Sankt Pauli Football Club Bar.
It's so dark. Amazing. Think how many years it must take to get off all the stickers up on the walls. Vegan and gluten free and sugar free. Sugar free. Why so many people here? Look at the queue. It's crazy. What has happened to the world? Because of gluten free and sugar free, it's a queue 20 meters outside the coffee shop. Why does the world have to be so trendy all the time? A coffee shop gluten free, lactose free and sugar free. And it's so many people outside there compared to any other normal shop. Does this vegan food produced without diesel, gasoline or gas? Oh my god. Anyhow, I'm in Berlin now and uh, you can pay 9 euro now, June, July, August for one month to go with public transportation. Everywhere you go in Germany you can go you pay in just 9 euro. It costs Germany a lot of money. Even the tourists can pay 9 euro and you can go from Berlin to Munich. Just jump, hop on the train or a bus, you go everywhere. You need your identification or passport. Well, then you're good to go. It's amazing how big Berlin is. It's very hard to understand that, but when you start to walk around in the Berlin, okay, the main city maybe it's not so big, but there's so many outside areas. Many, many suburban areas. Hey, And boys, I don't believe I have been to a city with so many, many bars, bars and restaurants. I love this city. You cannot, you cannot not love this city. It's impossible. <laughs> and the Deutsch. The German people love the graffiti. Everywhere. I think it's... I don't think it's so many graffiti anymore. I think it's more before. So all those this graffiti you see, it's for a long time ago. See here. Doors. Everywhere you go, you see doors with graffiti. Graffiti, graffiti. And one thing more that you see here that you never see in any other world, not even in Istanbul, you can see so many kebab shops. Kebab shops everywhere. Sometimes you go some areas in, 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 in Berlin you think you come to Turkey, not in not to Germany. Crazy how many kebab shops there is. It's no more Turkish people than in Berlin then if you compare it outside Turkey themselves so many Turkish people here I don't blame anybody but I'm just saying I'm just saying how much kebab shops there are and I don't understand why the German people don't want to do PR and commercial for their own food because I love German food, knögel, currywurst, everything. I love it. But you don't see so many shops with the typical German food. I think you need to go outside the small areas, the small cities. Maybe there you can find the typical German food. But definitely not here in the city of Berlin. How much kebab can you eat?
Hello. Uh, beer? Yeah, beer from uh, Tap. Uh, tap. Yes. Yeah. Pilsner or Alice? Uh, Pilsner. Pilsner. Yeah, Dutch not Dutch. mine. Dutch? Uh, mine. Uh, but when it comes to the culinary thing, you know, the, the food that you have in your own country, same as Sweden also. You don't see food from your own country in Sweden. It's a pizza, 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 kebab, 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 pizza, pizza. You never, never see restaurants, of course, you see restaurants with culinary food, but not so many. It's very little. And when I'm traveling, I like to see the typical food. Some countries don't have this, but some countries really love their food, like Czech. Republic, if you go to Prague, you really, you can really, really eat their own food, the really typical Czechoslovakia or Czech food. When I went to, to Ireland, 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 I could eat their own food many times, like blood pudding, and black, no, they call it the black pudding, but it's made of blood. So Scotland also, they, they serve me Agish. Be proud of your own food. It's like going to, to Berlin, to Germany, where they really love the beer. And you buy a, a Netherland beer or a Swedish beer. You just don't do it. If you're in Germany, you buy German beer. Classical Pittsburgh German beer. Mm. Oh, so good. Berlin is number one if you want to drink beer. And this beer you pay like two dollar fifty cents. You can come down to buy maybe one dollar fifty cents outside the tourist area. Really, really cheap. If you ever come to Berlin, I really recommend to take a walk outside the tourist box. I really love it to walk <laughs> outside the tourist areas. When it comes to green cities, Berlin must be number one in Europe. It's an amazing green city. You have parks. So many big parks, green parks, and and uh, it's a walkly friendly, walk friendly here. You can walk so many places, many many forests. It's just amazing town. I really love Berlin. Definitely, when it comes to the nature, <coughs> perhaps nature is close to the big city. You don't see that every time. Like here, you see this. I think it's River Speer. Really, really beautiful. And the, and the sunset here is really nice. And I'm just taking a walk now, 6.30 in the morning, and look for some nice bakery, coffee shop, a bakery. And they have a lot of bakery and coffee shops in Berlin. Many, many homemade bread. They really, really love the bread here. But you have a lot of traffic also. Morgan <laughs> I must say this was really amazing definitely here in, in Berlin they serve you with beer and they're very very friendly and the, the weather is just amazing here but this is not typical me to go on a, a boat tour with a lot of tourists like this but I must say, I really, really loved it. And, uh, it cost just 20 euro for 3 hours and 30 minutes. I really, really recommend this uh, boat tour here in Berlin because the river here is, and the lakes where the boat go, it's just, just stunning. It's amazing. The nature, the old Germany factories. Must be some restaurant like eh? 
Okay, Tilak. What do you want to say? You, you told me. You told me. Buy a boat trip. Because I really want to go to a boat trip in the river in Berlin. And uh, then when I told you I buy a boat trip for three hours and 30 minutes, you say, Crazy! How? So long time! But now? Okay, good. You think okay? Yes. Perfect. Perfect. D-Mark. D-Mark. <laughs> <laughs> I like it. So now we go eat some food, but it's not going to be kartoffel or some knögel and currywurst. I think it's going to be Thai food. <laughs> you think? I don't know. Ting ching? I can eat kartoffel, I can eat Thai food. I you can, can eat, eat kartoffel? Yeah. Currywurst? I can. Knögel. Knögel. <laughs> Going with the uh, local transportation in Berlin is just amazing, easy. And it's so many buses, and you don't need to wait a long time for the next bus. It's really, really crazy how simple it is. And now these days you pay just 9 euros one month, you can go everywhere you want. And now it's so amazing. I'm going to Poland. I'm going to Poland from Berlin, and Poland is not so, so far away from here. And the bus is going in a circle here, so it's so easy. Let's go to Frankfurt Uder. Okay. That's not the big town Frankfurt. This is another small town called Frankfurt Uder. It's a border town to Poland. Berlin East Cruz Kreuz. Border towns in every every country are strange. It's not the same feeling as in uh, usually an uh, ordinary city. This border town is, is a lot of policemen. <laughs> Even if it's European Union, a lot of policemen here. So now I'm walking to the border to Poland from Frankfurt Uder train station is 1.6 km and as always I love to walk and look 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 <laughs> and I just use Google Maps yeah this is going to be great and the weather is nice here also as in Berlin Frankfurt Uder so quiet so quiet. Okay, let's walk over to Poland and see how easy that is. I don't know. In European Union, you you don't need to show any passport. That's how it is. It's not only me who walk over. I think more people walk over to Poland. Oh, it's so easy. Across the country in European Union, it's ridiculous. It's almost ridiculous. It's so easy. And you see the police from there. That was the only, only guarding they have. Just see if they see some suspicious people. Now we just go over this bridge, over this river here. River Uber. That's splitting Poland and Germany. Of course, there are two sides 
of having no border control. It's very easy and so, but you, know, you can imagine how easy it is to smuggle things over one border to not other border. Contraband, so easy. I could have everything in my bag here. And nobody checked. <laughs> it's so much more easy for the German people to, to buy food now in Poland. So they don't need to show any passport at all. They just go over. It's so cheap for them to come here. The German people to come to Poland and buy alcohol and cigarettes. Slubice or Slubice. A very beautiful small town here in Poland. Old, old buildings. Really nice. And now look for a ATM so I can take out some slutty, Polish slutty. <laughs> 